Welcome to Rare Earth. This is a gateway to your new reality, where you'll find that everything you need exists within you. Let's begin. This week's format will be a little different. I wanted to share the first lesson from my program, Activate Your Gifts, because so many of you have asked how you can best support the podcast and my work. It's my goal to provide as much free content as possible because I truly believe that your transformation is your birthright. I'm not a guru, teacher, or expert. I'm exactly like you, a human existing on this earth, seeking fulfillment from this one life I've been given. My goal with everything I create is to share the tools and concepts with you that have helped me build a strong foundation of self-love, confidence, and trust in myself aka the universe. And it's this very same foundation that's allowed me to create a life I actually love living. So truly, you can listen to all my podcast episodes, every meditation in my free library, and have all the tools you need to transform. But if you want to dive deeper, my paid programs are meant to help you do that. I recently heard from someone who signed up for Activate Your Gifts and was afraid to get started. She said... I've never connected to a course this strongly and yet I'm afraid of who I can become. Now this is a person who I've exchanged a few emails with over the last few months about the fact that her consistent block in life is that despite knowing that she's wanted to work for herself for years, she subconsciously avoids pursuing what she truly wants and just settles for what comes her way. Because in her own words, what would happen if I actually tried? If you're here, I'm going to guess that you've probably heard all your life, but you have so much potential. You hear it from your parents, teachers, bosses, from your own inner critic. You know there's something waiting for you that always feels just out of reach. Just beyond that uncomfortable edge of starting something without fully being able to see the path unfolding clearly ahead of you. I say this having spent the first 35 years of my life in the land of having so much potential. For years, I was in a self-induced cycle of start-stop when it came to moving towards what I actually wanted in life. I pursued a traditional career path, worked at big companies, and had titles that felt important. But there was always this nagging voice in my head. I knew I wanted to create something of my own. I started countless side projects. I'd get super excited about a thing, get it almost ready to launch, and quit before I ever got any real traction. The list of unused and very random domain names I own is truly a sight to behold. Looking back, I think I was afraid of actually pursuing something with my whole self. Because if I failed, that meant I failed as myself, not just as an employee at a job I had no control over. I had someone else to blame the failure on instead of my own creative vision. It wasn't until I launched Rhea Earth three years ago that I felt confident enough to put something out into the world that was 100% my own. And the rest is history. Here you are today, listening to this podcast. So what changed? How did I actually get over that fear of starting? I didn't. I held on to the fear and I started anyway. At a certain point, I realized I had a choice. I could A, continue existing in this future fantasy of who I had the potential to become, or B, start taking real action in the present that would allow me to finally discover who I actually was. You'll never feel 100% ready to find out what you're truly capable of. There will never be a perfect moment. You'll never have all the knowledge you need and you absolutely can't control what other people think of you once you do take that leap. Above all else, you have to remember this. The universe does not move through you, it is you. So once you start moving in the direction of your dreams with your full heart, the world will reach right back out to meet that energy. But you have to start. So if you're ready to take real action towards creating your dream reality starting right now, I'm ready to help you. Activate Your Gifts is built with one singular goal in mind, to help you make more progress on your dreams in six weeks than you have in the last six years. 
It's everything I know about what it takes to build an unshakable foundation of self-trust, pride, and confidence. It's my favorite thing I've ever created. So if you're ready to get started, I'll leave the link in the show notes for you. All right, let's get into lesson one. It's called Your Life is Your Purpose. Here it is in three, two, one, your life is your purpose. From an early age, you're told you have to find a life purpose, something you're meant to do. How many times did someone ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? That one sentence from the first time you heard it began to shape your entire life. You subconsciously began to build your identity around finding this purpose, this future point in time when you'd be fulfilled, happy. You've likely spent your life chasing outcomes, roles, relationships, or objects of desire that were meant to bring this happiness into your life. But I imagine that since you're here, you haven't quite found fulfillment in any of these things. Because once you achieved a goal, any goal, you were quickly on to the next. Moving through life with blinders on, focused only on this future fulfillment that seemed to be always just out of reach. When will I finally be happy? Oh, of course. It's when I get that new job or buy a house. When I get married or have kids. When I'm finally able to be free of my unsupportive family. When I lose the weight. When I start my business or pursue my creative dreams. When I have enough money. But here's the truth. The idea of finding your life purpose was a flawed goal to begin with. It's a lie that society tells you to keep you trapped, forever on a path of seeking and never finding what you truly want, never recognizing what's here and now right in front of your eyes. That your life is your purpose. Have you ever considered the infinite number of variables that had to come together to create you? The shape of your body the color of your skin, the sound of your voice, the specific neural pathways that have been paved in your brain, every single experience in your life, good and bad. There is no one else that has ever lived or ever will live that is exactly like you. And the mere fact that you exist on this specific planet at this particular moment in time means that you were meant to be here. You are the universe experiencing itself from one specific perspective. You exist now in a human body and mind that are filters on your view, but they are not the entirety of who you are. You are the ultimate and infinite creator, which means that you created the existence you're experiencing now. And all you need to do is tune into the unique universal frequency that is yours and yours alone. Your purpose is inherent to who you are. It's already built in. There's nothing to seek. You are the universe, remember? You would not have created this body and mind if you were not meant to exist exactly as you are. So the only goal of this human life that you're living is to explore what makes this one specific body and mind unique. To find out what lights you up, what energizes you, what excites you. Your life is your purpose. There's no outcome, achievement, career, relationship, anything that will make you feel the way you want to feel. The feeling you're seeking exists within you now as the universal being you already are. It's your default state. This is why you don't need to raise your vibration. Your only focus should be tuning into the frequency that is 100% yours. You've probably already experienced this unique frequency in moments when you felt like your authentic self. When you've allowed yourself to let go of the masks and layers of belief that are preventing you from speaking up, standing out, or pursuing a path that feels outside the norm, whatever that means for you. Martha Graham says, There's a vitality, a life force, an energy, a quickening that's translated through you into action. And because there's only one of you in all time, this expression is unique. 
And if you block it, it'll never exist through any other medium and it will be lost. Your frequency feels like freedom. It feels like peace, presence, and power. This is not about becoming a new version of you. It's about removing everything you think you should be and showing up in the world exactly as you are. The clearest, brightest expression of your own unique frequency. And when you allow yourself to align with this unique frequency of yours, when you activate and share the gifts that are meant to come from you and only you, you'll inspire others to do the same. It's like a domino effect. You become a tuning fork, activating everyone around you. By deeply connecting with who you are and what you're here to transform, you'll help others transform themselves. You and your fullest expression is an act of service to humanity. You'll light the way for every human on this earth just by being who you are, by following your natural enthusiasm and excitement by expressing and sharing your harmonic gifts. What you truly want to do is what you're meant to do. And when you're aligned with the infinite universal energy that is meant to express itself through and as you, life feels entirely different. There's no outcome you're searching for, and life becomes about the creation of joy instead of the search for it. Your life is your purpose. <laughs>